it's been my favorite thing out of the whole year. I spent the first couple of years, my years with Sci-Fi on the Rock with the Ivan Anime Society and then I joined so that we could bring an artist alley here. It's great that an event like this exists, that people can go and be themselves, let their freak flag fly. You get to see so many different people sort of like you. Uh, Sci-Fi on the Rock's important to me in that my whole life, my livelihood, came about because of Sci-Fi on the Rock. Hi St. John's, Kevin from Moncton here. I just want to say it was a, just a great pleasure being able to come to your convention last year as a guest and uh, I couldn't believe how friendly everybody was and how the staff actually really cared. And it, was, it was a real, real honor for me and it's something that I'll never forget. I grew up loving reading science fiction and fantasy and so I went to Sci-Fi on the Rock the first year uh, really hoping to connect with other authors and writers in the genre and going subsequent years, uh, I eventually switched to the other side of the table. There have been a lot of amazing memories from Sci-Fi on the Rock over the last nine years. I went dressed up as Doctor Who, uh, number 11. And when I was there, I didn't realize the caliber of the, caliber of the costumes that I was going to see. And when I got there, there was a man who had had a homemade Cyberman costume and it like blew me away and I was like so floored to be able to just like take a picture with this guy. I've been to a few cons, uh, larger cons, smaller cons and uh, what you've got there is, uh, is special. Uh, diamond in the rough if you will. I find that the people are so friendly, um, the staff actually seem to care, they, they, they're not just there for the weekend doing their job, it's, it's pretty special. Hello everyone at Sci-Fi on the Rock. I'm coming to you live from my bathroom in Burnaby, BC. Um, I had never done a sci-fi convention until number nine last year. Number nine, number nine. And um, yeah, it was really nice. I'm really glad that my very first sci-fi convention took place in Newfoundland, which is a place I love dearly. And as an organizer walking around, I, every year there is some child who says, I never want to leave, I wish Sci-Fi on the Rock was every weekend, I wish I could be here all the time. They completely come out of their shell. And to see them feel comfortable and welcome and be themselves and never want to leave is probably the best experience I've had. I know you used to be the Darth Vader and that was um, kind of special to me because I knew someone who worked at a thing that I found really special to me. So I thought that was really awesome. Having fish and chips with Chewbacca, Screeching, and folks from Battlestar Galactica, and all kinds of amazing things. It, it's memorable moment after memorable moment after memorable moment every single year. Uh, it's the only place where I feel like, I don't know if it's technically true, but you can just be who you want to be. Um, I've done a lot of things for the fans of things that I'm a fan of. Uh, like, a lot of people will know me as Daft Punk, and I did that purely because it's a fun place to be Daft Punk and to get to express that a bit and, and have a bit of fun with it. I, I don't know, is it weird to say that my favorite guests have been, like, Matt and Ken and Jay? Like, all, all of the different writing guests that I, I always love to talk to anyway. Um, I wouldn't have met them if they weren't guests for Sci-Fi on the Rock. So for no reason whatsoever, I look at Boba Fett and I start singing Old Man River, and then Boba Fett looks at me and he starts singing Old Man River back to me, and so we both just start singing Old Man River, and we motion for Ken Tam to add in, and he's like, no. And I was, and I was like, so we finished the so our little song, and then afterwards Ken Tam was like, damn it. I could have said that I sang Old Man River with Boba Fett. Now I can just say that I saw it. That's not cool. It seems so well, it seems well organized and well placed and I like that this year it's coming downtown so that more people can just potentially happen upon it and, and love it for what it is. Yeah, we launched our business through Sci-Fi and the Rock and it's proven very successful. And in a way, Sci-Fi and the Rock to a certain degree uh, changed our business model a little bit from being suit makers to catering to more of the geek chic sensibility. 
And uh, so, I mean, Sci-Fi and The Rock has literally changed my life in that regard. And for that, I thank you. I, I just want to say thank you. I mean, so many things in my life wouldn't have been possible without Sci-Fi and The Rock. The guests, the hosts, the, all the committee, volunteers, everybody who goes. I hope that it's going to be a wicked 10 year. And the fact that it's been 10 years is amazing. And hopefully we'll get another 10 years and you'll all keep coming back. Patrons, organizers, everybody, just keep up the good work. Organizers, keep up doing what you do. Patrons, keep coming and we can just keep this building and keep this growing for as long as they're willing to do it. A smaller con like yours, I find you can't beat it. It's a much more intimate experience and uh, it'll be an honor joining you guys again this year. Happy 10th, guys. I found the rock. Congratulations for 10 years. Hey everyone, Christian Simpson here from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Just want to congratulate you on 10 years of fantastic shows. That's a decade. May the Force be with you. Hello everyone, Mike Sava here speaking to you from my casting couch. Congratulations on 10 years of a great show and Sci-Fi on the Rock. It was a great show. May the Force be with you. Congratulations on your 10th anniversary. Oh, I've been up since the crack of dawn. I've been shooting on Arrow today. This is my third episode. I'm playing the evil Phaedra Nixon. So anyway, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. And I had the best time last year. I love all the fans that show up in their amazing costumes. And I just hope everyone has as wonderful a time this year as they did last. Hey guys, Mike McCarty here. Shh, I have to be very quiet. I'm on the set of the new Star Wars movie. Remember when Han Solo fell off that bridge and we all thought he was dead? Turns out he's not. He's in carbonite. They make me sign all these non-disclosure agreements, so I'm not supposed to talk about it. But I don't really care about that right now. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm actually at my house. I just want to thank you guys for having me out to... That's the Mona Lisa, yes. I want to thank you guys for having me out to Sci-Fi on the Rock a couple of years back. Had a great time. Looking forward to doing it again. And congratulations on 10 years. See you next time. They're, they do such a good job. I don't know anybody else who could possibly pull this off. I think it's amazing. So keep doing what you're doing. You're doing awesome.